Hello, welcome back to Paragon Ridge Ranch. I'm Chrissy, and today we are making gluten-free bread. This is the best recipe I've come across, and Jeremy absolutely loves it. We have teamed up today from Otto's Natural Grain-Free Flour. So they sent me this cute box that I'm so excited about. Let's open it up and get some of it out. Let's see what's in here. Look at this, they are so sweet. They sent this to us as a gift so we could try out their flour. They sent this cute wooden spoon. Aww. Happy baking from Sadie, John, and Otto. Isn't that adorable? This is gonna come in handy, I love this. Cheat sheet, Otto's gluten-free flour. It's a cheat sheet. It tells you how much of all-purpose flours in your recipe versus their cassava flour. Look at this. So awesome, you guys. They're little gluten-free cooking recipe cards and they're all together so it's easy to hang. Isn't that cute? We got some cookie mix. Jeremy's gonna love that. Some more cookie mix. Otto's cassava flour is gluten-free, grain-free, and nut-free. 100% yucca root. This is it. Thank you so much, Otto's. I am excited to use the cassava flour today. Let's get started. One and a half cups of warm milk and one quarter cup of butter. It warms up. Next ingredient is two eggs and one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. So the warm milk and melted butter are all ready. Let's start adding the ingredients to the mixer. Okay, we're gonna take our one and a half cup of milk and our quarter cup of butter and we're in our mixer. Two eggs. one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Next, we're gonna add half a cup of sugar. One teaspoon of salt, and I just freehand and put it in. All that's left is one package of yeast. So I put this in there and just let it all mix together. I don't do anything special with it, throw it in. All that's left now is three cups of gluten-free flour. I always use gluten-free flour on this recipe. I have not tried it with a regular flour, but I'm sure it'll taste just as well. I already set the oven at 350 and it's been warming up. The reason I set it so early is because I do have to let this sit out for an hour so the yeast can rise the bread and the heat comes off the back of the oven. So when I cover it, it warms up nicely, it rises, and then we go from there. We're gonna do three cups. So this is half cup. Now when using different gluten-free breads, you do need to check the back. I'm to use three quarter cups of this Otto's to one cup in a regular recipe. I think I may have put too much in here because I just thought about it and realized it, but let's see how it's gonna go. I think it's done. Now we're gonna set it out and let it rise. So now all I do is take this up, put a cover on it, and push it to the very back of my stove. We're gonna let this sit for one hour and come back and take a look at it. It has been an hour, and let's check the dough. It's all nice and warm from the stove. It rose a little bit. Let's see. Oh yeah, it rose a little bit. So I'm just gonna knock it down. Now it's time to start this bread. Parchment paper in my loaf pans is amazing. Just a little bit in each. This is the fun part. My hands are clean, so I'm just gonna put half of this mixture in here. Normal bread doesn't usually get this doughy, like the consistency of a cookie. Um, it's usually more moist. I'm excited to see how fluffy and light this is gonna be. All 
empty and ready to go. Let's get these babies in the oven. Just a reminder, the temperature is 350 and we are gonna cook these bread loaves for 40 minutes. Let's set our timer. Now it's time to taste the bread. It is gonna be so good, I just know it. Homemade Texas Roadhouse style butter. First bite, first time using cassava flour. It is really good. It does not taste at all like it's gluten free. It's not as thick and dense as it looks, and it tastes so good. I don't know why the yeast didn't rise again the second time. Probably because I put it straight in the oven and didn't just let it rise again. Last time I made it though, I didn't have to. This is so good, you guys. Now I gotta save the rest of it for Jeremy when he gets home. That's hard. <laughs> Let's see what he thinks. Let's cut this up for Jeremy and let him try this gluten-free cassava Today, we are going to put some sprouted almond butter. It's the creamy, and it's from Longhurst Farms. This stuff is amazing. First, you gotta mix it up. We're gonna do one more piece with Paffer's Homestead Strawberry Habanero Jelly. All right, try it. That's strawberry habanero jelly, and that right there is Longhurst almond butter. Good. Is it? It looks good. It's got great reviews on the too. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Real good. How's the bread? Good. Yeah. And that one I put Brandy's strawberry habanero jelly on. Habanero? Mm -hmm. Warm, huh? A little warm. Too. Ooh, and here comes the habanero. <laughs> so one out of ten on the bread. The taste is fine, it's just dry. Okay. I don't know how to rate that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you would like this video and subscribe, hit the little notification bell or the dingle bell, and we would greatly appreciate it. Have a good one.